I did this role after I filmed the video. Help me! Help me! Hi everyone! Um, <laughs> first of all, uh, don't feel sorry for me. I'm not here to feel anyone to feel sorry for me or cry for me or anything like that. I'm just having a little discussion with you because I feel like we should have had this conversation a few months ago, to be honest. So I guess it's time to have a chat about video games and how I feel about them, whether I still like them and what my gaming situation is and my stance on my streaming and the internet as it is today. Why do I feel so awkward? <laughs> on my YouTube channel, you realize that I probably have like a lot of vlogs, a lot of silly videos, a lot of other topic videos, and or I mix in gaming with other topics, but there's not been like a set alone, full gaming topic video. Even though there's been videos about gaming, there's not been like a sit down games review or something just like that. And I used to do like the odd games review or the odd gameplay, but now I stream. So all my gameplay is on Twitch, which is fine. Like people like the videos that I do now. However, I do miss sitting down, talking about games, doing like some solely gaming based videos. Now what I think has ruined this for me, uh, I'm speaking quite formally, <laughs> by the way, cause I just need to get off my chest. I do think that streaming has ruined gaming for me uh, a little bit, to be honest. I don't mean just like gaming for you guys. I mean, gaming is my own personal hobby along with having ADHD, which has been a complete nightmare these past few months. Streaming has ruined it for me. Uh, I'm gonna talk about why. Logging. Now, I started streaming approximately two years ago on the old twitch -a -roo. Okay, I've become a Twitch partner. Ooh! I've had access to amazing brands, amazing brands deals, met so many good people. I was even on the billboard of TwitchCon in Amsterdam. And that was like a super humbling experience for me, like very humbling. I would never thought in my life, would I be on a billboard for fuck all, let alone like the, the billboards for TwitchCon. A little old some pie over here from the countryside. It was a really weird experience for me. So I'm so grateful for, for what Twitch has done for me and what I do on Twitch and the platform and the followers and everything like that and the opportunities that I've got. Super grateful for these. And I will always be grateful for all of that and everybody. And it's pretty sick really, isn't it? That I've managed to even do that. It's unbelievable. This is the issue. When I first started Twitch, I was just messing about, you know, it wasn't a serious thing. Like it wasn't a job. It was just me messing about. None of this was meant to be a job. It was all me messing about and now it's a job, right? Which is fine. Love it. Like I'm so freaking privileged to be in this position. I realize that so privileged and it's not, I love this job. Wouldn't change it for the world, right? So I started Twitch messing about, being, being goofy, doing silly stuff, dares, dancing around, spin the wheels, spin a little, 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 spinning a lot of things, like doing a lot of fun stuff other than just gaming, right? However, the past few months, it's been like, most of my streams have been like a workout stream here. They don't listen to me. <laughs> my, uh, my, Pablo, shut your beaker. It's not the time. You listen to that. He likes being called Tracy Beaker, the little freak. Um, <laughs> so yeah. Uh, and recently, because I have got like really cool brand deals and like there's so many games, so many games out, <sighs> that I've just been doing a lot of gaming streams um, and neglecting like my other hobbies, coloring, uh, dancing, uh, blah, 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 building things, Lego, jigsaws, dares, just like a concoction of fashion try-ons. I've neglected all these things for gaming on my Twitch. Which means when it comes to doing like the gaming on here, the gaming anywhere else, the gaming in real life, I'm kind of burnt out because when I play games, I play games on Twitch that I know my Twitch chat will like. I like them too, but they're not necessarily the games that I would always reach for, which that's fine because like there's a lot of games that I just want to keep to myself and not play online because it's really hard to like build up that chat and conversation and concentrate whilst playing certain games and they're just for me. So yeah, anyway, that's not off topic. I play games that I know my community will like and I can engage properly with my community. They're still games that I like, but they're just not my comfort games, I guess I should say. On top of the streaming side of things, uh, I'm doing acting at the minute. Ah! Ooh! Ooh, 
Oh yeah! I'm, yeah, I'm, I, I got a role in a film. And for that, I have to like stick to a certain diet for press shots and also I'm um, having flexibility training for that on the side. Um, learning lines, learning to act. And that's on the side of what I do here. So what I do here, a lot of people don't know, they just think that I just sit here doing nothing. Well, that's not true. I work with a lot of brands um, and, and I have to do ad work for them. I have to go to shoots and I have to record things, edit things. I make YouTube videos for you guys. I edit them all myself. Um, my Twitch streams, I've started a chips <laughs> clips channel, edit all those myself. I stream about three times a week for three, three to four hours a week. Um, I manage my own Discord, I manage my Instagram, my Twitter, all my social medias, my fan house where you can get extra content and cosplay, sign up to it. Um, and all of those things, as well as like taking meetings, negotiating contracts, reading over contracts, having con meetings with agents. And that's like a, yeah, it's a lot. So I've gone from like working in a care home, 14 hour shifts, but I've got punched in the face for a living then. So that was great and fun. And then I've gone to this, which is like, you, you walk 40 hours a day, bro. Like it's nonstop. I never switch this brain off. I'm always thinking of what can I do better? What can I do next? What are my followers just like? I need to reply to my followers comments. And I want to, like for me, I frigging want to do this. I love this, it's my passion. That's why I'm so passionate and I just don't stop, and I never will, and that's it, it's not happening. Like, my brain hasn't realized that I love this so much that my brain isn't gonna turn off from it. Who cares, whatever, I'm passionate. There's passion in the dance, there's passion in the hips, you know? You know what I mean? Show. So yeah, I'm super grateful, really privileged, but this has affected my gaming a lot, like my own personal time gaming. Because when I finish my three hour streams and I've played a game, that's um, everyone's like, like to watch, it's been fun. The last thing that I want to do is pick up a game. I want to kind of relax, edit my answer emails, do some editing. And I kind of have to do that because my day's been spent streaming. And then before that, it's been like going to the gym, tidying up, walking the dogs, and filming videos. So after a stream, I actually don't feel like picking up a control. And because of all my work jobs and a lot of things is about gaming, when I sometimes go to sit down, I'm just like, Ooh, I just want to switch my brain off and do nothing. So sometimes I just sit for a few hours and do nothing or watch something and that takes my mind off things. But I love gaming and I miss having that same passion that I had before I started loads and loads of like gaming stream. And I miss the passion that I used to have in terms of the games that I used to love. I miss it a lot, actually. Makes me sad. I've not really known how to fix this. I would like end a stream or my relaxing time, I'll watch people play the games that I want to play. Like I've been watching people play uh, Disney Dreamlight Valley at the minute and World of Warcraft at the minute, which I've just started by the way. I'll talk to you about that later. Um, and I'll watch people play and I'm like, why aren't I, why aren't, am I not playing this myself? And it's because I just don't have the energy. Like I just don't have that energy at the minute to play because I've been doing so many other things that have been stimulating my mind. In, in terms to games. And I've realized recently, um, as my passion has sparked back up again, that it's all about balance and knowing when to stop and saying no to things. Do you wanna go out with Jiminy, Timothy? Not really, I'd rather stay in and play a game. Like if you've worked 15 hours a day and then Jimothy, Timothy asks you to go out, you can just say no mate actually, I'd rather play games at home in the bath, ignore everyone, border my house up so it's darkness and ignore the world pretend I don't exist and fall into this game. And that's what I've needed to do is say no. When a hobby becomes your job, for anyone that's getting into content creator, you need to make sure you have that separation also so you can still enjoy your job as your hobby, if that makes sense. So how have I fixed this? And how am I gonna proceed to fix this? Um, Sundays. So Sundays and non-stream days and organization. So I had made a little organization plan with a friend today. Well, a few days ago, actually, it's not been today. Um, and we've decided that Sundays, nothing, no editing, no games. I'll probably answer comments because I love you and I gotta stay true. Okay, you get the point, right, I'll answer comments. But Sundays, 
gaming days. And that's when I'm gonna play games that I wanna play and games that I'm gonna play. And if I wanna review for my YouTube because I'm passionate about the dance, then I will. There's passion in the toes, baby. I'm taking a stand and I'm changing my thought process. Another thing that has really sparked my juices <laughs> is a game, two games that I'm gonna talk about in great detail on my YouTube channel in a few weeks and they have literally changed my mindset and changed my life and probably changed my life for the worse in some ways that I'm now just really lazy and want to play these two games forever. But also have helped throw me back into the games being my hobby, not just a job. And I, and I love games so much, probably more than any human beings in the world. They're the only things that bring me joy, like thinking about it games bring me joy, more joy than a human ever would bring me. So I'm now gonna be spending like having block time out for me, like sorry son, don't work all 24 hours a day, it's really not good for your health. So I've now blocked time out where I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna have a break here, I'm gonna play this game, I'm gonna play this game. And I'm also, I'm gonna have weekly like marathons where I can marathon a game, which I did recently for eight hours and it was the best time that I've had in months. Uh, this game, has changed my life and I'll talk to you about it in a few weeks but oh love it love it so much and anyway whoa, 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 whoa. I'm not you know how hard it has been not to move in this chair Can you hear it it needs some bloody wd-40 doesn't it jesus anyway as I was saying how is this gonna affect you Timothy I I'm gonna be able to be doing more things in terms of gaming and discussions and reviews you're still gonna get my normal goofy shitty videos where I'm just messing about, answering questions, rolling around the floor, doing challenges, unboxing things, tech hauls, normal hauls, all the stuff that I normally do, vlogs, going to the gym. You're gonna get that. But you're also gonna get some of those well together. Well, I freaking hope so actually, because I'm not very good at putting things together. Hmm. Possibly well put together, I should say, videos. Um, with games that I like, some reviews, maybe some gameplays if the game's free, fruity enough and it, I don't just have to play it on Twitch. I'm also going to be having like silent nights on Twitch where at night time I sit down, I chill. I'm not that loud, I don't talk much, but I'm going to play a game that I want to play, whether that's like Disney Dream Night Valley, whether that's Minecraft, whether that's World of Warcraft. Just a really cosy gaming night and that's going to happen like twice a month and that's going to be a long marathon. Um, because then I can interact with you and play a cozy game and play a game that's, I guess, my personal game as well because sometimes I don't mix those. As well as my other content, I just want to be able to give you guys like solid, informative information so you're not just here for me being an absolute goof turd, you're here for like the info. Yeah, and you're not just here for the toes because I know that they are 10 star on wiki feet. And I get it, but I also want you to be here for the informative content. And you can't be here for the informative content if I've not been playing games or posting it, right? Right, anyway, on that note, um, rambled on for like 17 hours now and you're probably all tired and sick of me, but I love you and we can't leave out the cyber hugs. Mm. <laughs> Lovely, also, if you'd like a room tour, uh, cause my room has, been toured and it looks sick. I didn't even did my wire management the other day. Yeah, I'm so proud. Then let me know in the comments, hit the like button and just let me know. There'll also probably be a list of giveaways you can enter that I've, maybe there will be, that I've put up recently and they're still left. Yeah, head to the description. All the information it will be in there. Also, I'm gonna do the roll for the intro and stick that in the intro. I can do that now.